Oh, top of the morning to you. Mrs. Cobain here. It's actually Mrs. Pringle. Anyone want a Pringle? This has been Mrs. Cobain to you on XTY Mathematical Induction. Now, this induction question um, is an unusual one. It's a product one. Normally, it's, it's a throw we've been looking at. So, step one. Prove it's true for n equals 1. So if I sub n equals 1 in the left hand side, n equals 1, well our general term is 2n, which is 2 times 1 or 2, and the right hand side is 2n, and the first term is 1, or we can say 2n minus 1. So that's 2 to the 1 into 1, which is 2. So therefore, left hand side equals right hand side. Therefore, true for n equals 1. Now, the next step is the most important one the assumption, because the one people stumble over, and if you get step 2 right and use it correctly, step 3 falls out nicely. So, step 2 is assume it's true for n equals k. So that assumption is, instead of n, we're going to write k. k plus 1, k plus 2, dot dot dot, 2k minus 1, 2k equals 2 to the k, 1 times 3 times 5, times 2 to the k minus 1. And step 3 now is we have to prove it's true now for n equals k plus 1. So we write down what we want to prove. What we want to show is everywhere there's an n you're going to sub in a k plus 1 in the original. So it's k plus 2, k plus 3, and then it's it's 2, <coughs> excuse me, into k plus 1 minus 1. So if I expand that out, it's 2k plus 2 minus 1. So it's 2k plus 1, and then it's 2n, which is 2 outside of k plus 1, so that's 2k plus 2. And that's all to equal 2 to the k plus 1, 1 times 3 times 5 times, and again, it's 2n minus 1, which was the same as this one here. So that's the 2k plus 1 term. That's what we want to prove. Okay, now. Having a look at this assumption here, that's what we're assuming and we're allowed to use it. So the assumption is k plus 1, k plus 2, up to 2k equals this. Now compare this with what you've got here. Always compare them and see if you can substitute um, or make some sort of do some sort of manipulation. Now if you look at step 3, we've got k plus 2, k plus 3, up to 2k plus 2. So let's compare it with this. We've got a k plus 2, the next one would be a k plus 3. We'd have a 2k plus 1 and a 2k. So that would fall before this one because they're just going up by 1s. So from here to here, we've got up to there. And we know that equals that divided by k plus 1. Okay, if you make this the subject, then if you divide both sides by k plus 1, you're going to get that. So what I'm saying is, we know, therefore, that we can replace all of this with this divided by k plus 1. So let's do that. So it's 2 to the k into 1 
times 3 times 5 times 2k minus 1 and we're going to divide that by k plus 1 that's that part but in what we want we've got a little bit more we've also so the 2k stopped there we've also got these two terms so we're going to tack those on at the end 2k plus 1 2k plus 2 and what we want to show, therefore, is that this left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So we have to rejig this somehow to be equal to this. Now let's have a look at that again. So we're using the assumption from part two, which is here, and we're saying if we know that k plus 2, k plus 3, up to 2k, equals this divided by that then I'm going to substitute that in what we want here so k plus 2, k plus 3 up to 2k which is there so I've substituted that for the right hand side which is there and divided it by the k plus 1 but I've also got these two extra terms and now I just need to manipulate this to look like the right hand side of the part that we want So this is what we had on the previous page. Okay, well, you have to compare it to what you want. I know that outside the bracket I need a 2k plus 1. Now, 2k plus 1, whenever you've got indices with a plus or minus, you split it up. So that's 2 to the k okay, times 2 to the 1, isn't it? Because same base, you add the indices. Let's do that again. So that's the same thing. So it's 2 times 2 to the k. So I've already got a 2 to the k. I now just need an extra 2. Well, if you have a look at it, I've got k plus 1 here. And I've got 2k plus 2 here. So if I factorise 2k plus 2, in red is as good as any, that's 2 outside of a k plus 1. So I'm getting my 2 and my k plus 1. So k plus 1 there, 2k plus 2 there, and I've got a 2 outside. So that 2 times that 2 to the k, if I rewrite it like that, is a 2 to the k plus 1, or 1 plus k, into, and then I've got 1 by 3 by 5 by 2k minus 1, and forget the square brackets 2k plus 1 which is correct it's the odd numbers okay so that's what I've got on the right hand side that's exactly it so it's 1 by 3 not sure the dot by 2k minus 1 2k plus 1 okay and that equals the right hand side get rid of that so therefore Statement is true as proven by mathematical induction. True. Okay. And that's the end of that question. So they can be product questions and you just have to rejig the assumption statement.